Hello and welcome to Let's Play Destroy All Humans 2 with me, Mr. Mucklackable. In the last episode, we completed Tunguska by learning that Milenkov is taking his secret Project Solaris to the moon. Who would have thought it? And we also saved Natalia from dying. We did quite a lot, actually. We learned a lot. And even though the game wants us to go to Solaris, the moon, to uh, carry on with the story missions, we are back in Takoshima because there is one more thing left to do here. Look at that over there. At the Black Ninja Island, we have a mission, an odd job to do. So, is there a... Yes, there is. Let's go over there and do the last. I think it is the very last thing in Takoshima. In fact, it is. So with this, that means every single uh, location, except for the one we haven't been to yet, will be 100% done. My oh my, that's nice. So if we fly over here, it's quite an important odd job as well. It's been left this late because, well, it involves some important people and some important events. So if we land, where can we land? Is that... where can I... Oh, over here. Okay. Man, I'm a noob at this game. Let's go and talk to, I'm assuming, a black ninja. Don't kill me, I'm gonna talk to you. There you go. Hello. Well, but I'm being I'm being attacked by your own people. No! That's not fair. Oh god. If I die now, this really will not be useful. Okay, you know what? Let's just get in the, uh, disguise and do it because th this that's the sucker's way. No, I'm not going to Solaris. I'm going to talk to the leader of the Black Ninjas. Heal the Black Idol. Yep, that's me. How can I be of service? Yo, Ninja Noir, what's the buzz? I see it with righteous anger. Time to exact revenge against foolish Arkvoodle-Cult! Uh, what? Why? We, are, we, we love Arkvoodle, Lord of the Sacred Crotch. Yeah, those guys suck eel... Wait, would, would, would you, 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 you just say Arkvoodle? Ah, uh, I charge you with very serious mission. Yukira Shamalama, leader of Silly Cult! Finally! That guy's been pissing me off since Bay City. Oh, I mean, uh, hi, Sensei. Okay, here we go. Assassination. Shearing the Llama. Yep. I'm afraid we've got to go kill the Shama Llama. He's been there. Uh, he's been getting in the way for too long now. We, we, he's done his job of spreading the cult, and now he must be purged. Whereabouts is he? Uh, oh man, that's ages away. You know what? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get in the saucer. I'm gonna cut forward, and we we'll go see what the Shamalama has to say. Okay, we're here, and oh look, a lot of white ninjas are guarding him. This could turn nasty, and believe me, it will. I'm sorry. No, I know you. Do you know me? Are you joking? Shama, it's me. You know, your benevolent yet sociopathic alien overlord. Oh yes, the small green toddler. I forget your name. You have an appointment? I need an appointment to speak with an indigent hippie with a crap Indian accent. Not to mention, whose ass need I remind you? I literally dragged out of the gutter! And yet now it is I who am the face of the art guru called Coincidence? I don't think so! Oh damn, you are going, you are going straight to hell! Yeah, well, I just voided your contract. You're about to make the ultimate sacrifice. Art guru will protect me! I wouldn't hold my breath. Okay, here we go. It is time to kill the Shamalama. Now, this 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 could be quite tricky because there are a lot of white ninjas everywhere, and um, he's he's guarded by them quite fiercely, and they have the little shooty shurikens or whatever they're called, and they can be quite deadly. So we're going to get on these huts. 
Hopefully that'll that'll block them. Problem is I can't quite see where he's there we are. Yes, the problem is he keeps teleporting. And that is a bit annoying. Oh, but that does him very, very quickly. <laughs> However, yes, look, if you've seen that. Um Here's here's the twist of the mission. Ark Voodoo, in his greatness, has given <laughs> Shamalama uh, the number of lives that we have died. So the amount of times we have died, he's now got that number of lives. So apparently I've died nine times. Uh, doesn't really matter too much though, because look at his health. He goes down very, very quickly. We've just got to try and get him when he's at the right position. Now he's right behind me. Hello. He doesn't even bother attacking you, he just teleports. He sucks, man. He deserves to die. So, we have oh, six more times to kill him. And you know what? I think I'm going to fast forward this. Because all it is is going to be me staying on top of this hut. Killing him like that. He's like a cat. He has nine lives, damn it. Soon he will have none. There we go. Ark Voodoo, man death sorry. Shamalama, divine leader of foreign cult, killed at height of popularity. Oh, he's dead now. Thank goodness. Man, that, that was tougher than I thought it would be. Um, I, I do have a few tips though. Tips and tricks. I really do forget to use Mind Flash. If you saw at the end there, I if you use Mind Flash, he stands still, doesn't teleport. Everyone else is frozen. And you can just kill him when he's standing still. It's very, very easy. I should have done that to begin with. Um, also, Gastro. Gastro, use him as well. Oh, man, go away from me, you damn white ninjas. Gastro will take out a lot of the white ninjas for you so you can run around. I found that the huts were useful until they were destroyed. And then uh, things got a bit more tricky. Because you had, you had nowhere to stand. I tried standing on the uh, destroyed lighthouse. Stupid hitbox collision detection glitchiness. I couldn't shoot him. But there we go. With the with the amount of weapons at your disposal, that's really not difficult, especially with Mind Flash. Definitely use that. I've been ignoring it, silly me. Okay, so with that, Takashima is done, one hundred percent. And now we can move on to Solaris and see the dark side of the moon. Let's go. not showing up on my scanners, but I am detecting Soviets of plenty and buttloads of Blisk. What's worse, Natalia's been gathering intel from the cosmonauts, and you won't believe what she's found. Project Solaris is a Blisk weapon built to bombard the Earth with Bliskifying spores. Go see Natalia. She'll give you the gory details. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a king-size crab claw cracker. Well... Here we go, we're on the moon, and doesn't it look nice? I'm so glad they they added this last level because I don't know, I like the moon. I think it I think it looks really cool. You'll see more of it as we do the missions, but I mean look at this, look at all that stuff, the giant domes. Oh it's very nice. Okay, let's go talk to Natalia. Start the first mission. See what we can do. Well, hopefully save the world. That'll be nice. Hello, darling. Nice of you to join me. Indeed. Right, what do we have here? Ask about plan of attack, quiz Natalia about this place, uh, on <laughs> hit on Natalia yet again. You know what, let's let's quiz her about the Blisk base. 
Give me the scoop, dollface. What do we know about this Blisk base? Not much, other than it seems to be the main Blisk stronghold. It contains their hive, and the weapon they plan to use to destroy Earth. And that's bad. See? See? I'm really getting this spy stuff, huh? Yes. Now, um... Ooh, that's not... No time for ridicule. Let's get the scoop on the Blisk weapon. Okay. What do we know about this Blisk weapon? It's an organic spore shooter, and it too needs radiation to charge itself. Jeez, and off with the radiation. My nads are shriveling like crazy. Oh, what? <laughs> Get off that shot, please. Oh, come Tell on. Tell me about the hive. I'm guessing it ain't filled with honey. Yet, the hive contains all the Blisk spores, hundreds of thousands of them. And the spores feed voraciously on radioactive materials. Radiation. Why did it have to be radiation? Okay, let's ask about the plan of attack then. Okay, sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Okay. Radiation. Why does it always... Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Let's do it. Is that all? I thought it was going to be some hard. You got it, babe. Here we go. 1969, A Space Odyssey. Follow the Lunar Rover to the mining zone. Well, fine. 1969 Space Odyssey. Has, um, have any of you actually seen uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey? It's always been one of those films that I really want to see, yet I've never got around to it. It's one of those, like, classic films that everyone should see, isn't it? It's always on the like, best films list or 100 films you should see before you die. And yet I still haven't seen it. I'd like to think of myself as a little bit of a movie buff, but I'm very poor. Very poor on that that uh that side of things. Oh, leave me alone, cosmonaut. We're just we're just, we're just following a, a little rover. It's fine. Okay. Actually, um there's a few films like that, isn't there, that that they're the classics, but you never actually get around to seeing them, like Citizen Kane. Haven't seen that. Haven't seen that at all. It's mainly the ones from like the 40s and 50s and 60s, isn't it? They're like the the very, very classic-y classics. <laughs> classic -y classics. Oh dear, I'm being shot. Oh man, I'm going to actually get around to seeing 2001 Space Odyssey. Definitely, at some point. And that was a random tangent about the title of this mission. Anyway, let's, let's get on with this. I mean, we have been getting on with it, but... Damn, this is taking a long time. Well, we do get to see the surroundings. I mean, there's the Earth. Here's all the, the lovely Russian workers. Oh, there's a Furotech cell. I'm sure they won't mind if I detour just a little bit. Oh, I think that's someone shooting me. Hmm. I do question the uh, scientific validity of those weapons. Sorry, I've interrupted Pox. There we go. I kind of interrupted Pox there and stopped what he was saying, but all he was saying was they're using radiation to uh, use the Blisk spores. So get rid of the radiation, that will get rid of the spores. Simple as that. Okay, so now we're in the mines, we have to destroy seven more Ursa miners, which I think is some pun. And the way to do it is, oh, this is not the right way, but we grab this alien artifact anyway. There we go, our very first one of Solaris. And walk towards, what is that? Oh, it's a gun. Okay. Definitely don't want to be uh, out of disguise here. 
So get get so free loving and then um, head towards these tunnels. Now there's always usually an explosive barrel you could use. Uh, in fact, there doesn't seem to be one, which is quite annoying. Does that explode? I wonder. No. <laughs> oh damn. Can I PK it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they've seen me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Usually there's these red barrels next to them, and then you could use that. But this works just as well. Whoops, sorry man. I know it's just your job, but you are evil in this game. Yeah, it's these ones here. Die. <laughs> Did you see that guy doing a cartwheel? Oh, amazing. Actually, my disguise is going to run out soon. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. Get that down there. Sorry man. Job's a job, isn't it? Okay, so if I get another disguise, this one's running out. And then get five more. I'll see you. I'll probably fast forward this bit and I'll see you then. Okay, last one. Man, I was in a bit of a sticky situation at the end there. Uh, I thought I was going to die, actually. I was very, very close. Why is there like a weird echo there with Pox? Are you okay? Where is it? Let's get out of this damn car. Oh, what? I thought your health would reach in. It kind of locks your health in place. That's a bit harsh. Okay, so we've done that. Now there are some more. Um, do you know what? Let's just transmog them. That'd probably be the easiest way to get rid of them. In fact, yeah, that worked very well. And you know what? We even get some ammo out of it. It's a win-win situation here. No, come on, finish off. Okay, last one. Go away, damn evil spaceman with gun. Is that it? Yes, look at that. Eight bonus Furotech cells. Okay, well, I think that's going to be nearly the end of the episode. Let, let's do one more thing before we go. Uh, where do we land? Um, this way. I think with 103 Furotech cells, we deserve an upgrade. We, we can get nearly everything now, surely? Oh, we're very lucky. We're very fortunate, I'm sure. Many other Cryptosporidium Furons uh, do not have the same advantages we have with their Furotech cell count. I'm assuming it's their kind of money. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. A load of crap, that's what I'm talking. Okay. Okay, here we are. Let's let's see what we can get with... Oh man, 113! God, we are rich beyond our wildest dreams. Anything that we can... I see that. Let's get the Ion Detonator though. we get the things that I'm going to use more often first. Meteor Strike, yes. I uh, don't know what that does, but we got it. Um, minimize the Meteor target in time. Oh, increase Meteor Attraction Capacity up to 5. Yes, sirry Bob, I'll have that. Quantum Deconstructor, Burrow Beast, Shields, Shields. Um, okay, let's get some of the Saucer stuff like this. Um, and is this against Blisk? No, this is capacity increase. Get that one. Get that one. This is just. Oh, I'm not even going to bother saying what these are. They just make it better. They just make it better. Anything else? Oh, yep. Yeah. Get that. Um, can't get that. And we can get that. So basically, we've just got a lot of stuff for Quantum Deconstructor, a lot of stuff for the. Anti-gravity field. We just got a lot of stuff, basically. We've spent all our Furotex cells, but we're even more pimped up. Brilliant. So, next episode, we'll probably carry on with the story missions, take a little look around the moon, because it's interesting, isn't it? And carry on uh, beating this game. So, until next time, thank you for watching, 
and goodbye.